What is up, mi gente? Welcome back to our channel today. I'm very excited porque vamos a hacer un flan y es mi primer flan. So, let's get started. So, vamos a comenzar con el caramelo. So, in my pot, I already added one cup of sugar y también I'm just going to sprinkle some water in there. Y yo tengo my flame on medium. Do not put it any higher because you can burn this. Si tú quema esto, then you're going to start all over again. And that's totally fine. If just don't, um, don't put your flame up. Just, we're just going to cook this until it gets nice and caramelized. Y yeah, it's very easy, guys. This is very easy. Ya cuando el azúcar ya se ve así, la vamos a poner en my pan that I'm going to use for my flan. Y este procedimiento, guys, you want to be very careful porque si tú, like, if you burn yourself with this caramel, it can be very damaging. So just um, pour your caramel, your caramel, move it around in the pad, and then just put the pad on the side y deja que se enfríe. So ahora vamos a hacer the custard. So for my custard, I have four eggs plus one egg yo. También le puse una lata de leche condensada, una latica de leche evaporada, and then I also eyeballed some vanilla. Y también le puse a little bit of salt, y the salt is just to bring out all of those delicious flavor of your flan. And that's it. Eso es todo lo que yo voy a hacer. Yo lo, I'm just going to blend this all up until it's nice and smooth. Alright guys, so now that my custard ya está, y aquí tengo mi caramelo, ya está nice and cool. We're just gonna add the custard to the caramel. Y déjame decirte que esta custard came out so good. There was no residue or eggs, there was nothing. So lo que voy a hacer ahora que lo voy a cubrir. Y tengo mi horno a 350. Eh, y también vamos a poner esto en un baño de María. So un baño de María, what it is, you're just gonna get some boiling water. And then you're just gonna put it in the pot. Y también vas a poner tu flan like right in the middle, like my wife did. And then we're just gonna put it in the oven y como te dije lo vamos a cocinar por una hora a 350 y I have my wife helping me here guys because I'm clumsy so I don't want to mess it up pero ya mira uh, después de una hora let me show you mira el ya está flanta and guys it looks so good so ahora lo que yo voy a hacer lo voy a cubrir and then I just let it sit in my fridge overnight o tú lo puedes dejar que es eh, in the in the nevera por ocho hora. So now I'm just running my knife through the edges, and you're just gonna do a little prayer. So this flan comes out. So mama ve. So I just flipped it, you know, do your little prayer, and here is the flan, guys. Oh my God, this flan came out so good. I was so proud. I did a little dance and everything, guys. It was, mm, I was so proud of it. So lo que yo hice con el caramelo, yo lo calenté en el horno, and then I just drizzled it on top. Y aquí está my first slice, guys. Oh my God, let me show you. Mm, this flan, mira, mira que lindo se ve por adentro. Guys, after this one bite, el, y el caramelo, it wasn't so, it wasn't too sweet either. Because I know some flans are too sweet, pero esto estaba perfecto. So after that bite, mira the damage también my wife did, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.